Hello everyone, I as the representative of Aradbot Didactic Team am here again with the third step of creating bots in the Telegram. In this video, I want to teach you how to create bots by using web panel and if you do remember in the chapter 2 of the educational videos, we created our bots by using your Aradbot in the Telegram. And now we want to create that bot by using the web panel and I also want to introduce the panel's features. Well, for creating our bot by using the web panel, you got to type this address into your internet browser. If it's your first time visiting this website and you don't have an account, you just need to click on this option and create an account for yourself. But because we created our bot in step 2 by using your other bot, and I entered this email, support at sendgmail.com, which is a test email, and I have chosen a password for that. So, my account is ready, and I do click on the login button. So, I enter into the bots managing panel. Welcome to our bot panel. This is a panel which our bot team has provided for you to create a bot without any necessity to have the programming knowledge, so you can enjoy from having an advanced bot. For introducing the panel, I explain some information from the top of the panel. Before starting my explanations, I should tell you that do not afraid of the numbers of the menus because they are just the features that you can use them to control your bot as you wish. And don't forget that our bot team is with you with adequate and useful didactic videos. Let's meet the features of the panel. This part is for programmers, so if they would like to connect their bots to their old databases, some of the websites or their old projects, they would be able to do this here. If you need to watch the, all of the didactic videos of this panel, just click on this link. And this is a guide tour that when you click on that, it shows brief helps and hints of any options you see. And if we add new features or news, you'll get informed of them in panel news. If you need to contact whichever support team, when you face any kinds of problems or when you have suggestions to tell us, just click on this option and I promise that my co-workers reply as soon as possible. This part is change personal info where you can change your password, check the financial transactions, short help for the whole of the panel, and combine buttons and if you wanted to close the panel just use exit option in this part we have put the most used buttons of the panel for you for example when you see a group of buttons or menus in the bot you can manage them here and make them less or more If you wanted to see all of the users of your bot, use this part and for sending scheduled messages to your users or sending messages in a specific day to them, you can have them done by clicking on this option. In operator confirmation, you can set some assistants or managers for your bot for if your users use your system in different parts, messages would be sent to your assistants too. For example, imagine an institute which has a liable person for enrolling people and a liable person for public relations where you want their enrolling requests gets received by a liable person who signs up. You can set that here. In the bots part, you can watch your bots. In registered users section, you can set some questions and you can see the registered users after your users answer the questions. In file section, you can upload files in your bot so your users will see them. In bot settings, you can see the general settings of your bot like default buttons and other parts. However, I'm explaining the items to you briefly and for any of them, a separate video has been prepared. By the way, if you enter into them, they are clear enough that you'll be able to work with them. 
In this part, you can see the chart of the widgets of your bot, and as we haven't set any bots in the panel, so this part is blank. In Users Counts part, you can see a report of the numbers of your bot's users. In this section, you can see the panel status and the remaining days of your panel, and the number of bots you can create in your panel. Naturally, in the versions you pay for, the number of bots you can create and also the number of features do increase. In this list, it shows you the number of users joined your bot today. And here we can see the requests that has been sent to you by your users. In today messages, you can see the questions or problems of your users. In the sidebar, you can see the list of the features and menus that are available in your current panel's version. By using this option, you can create a new bot or in the submenu, see the bot buttons, bots, bot settings, and choose bot theme. Bot theme means default buttons and features that will be created in your bot, the same as what we did in chapter 2 of videos and did set a store theme. In both users, you can see all users, registered users, and questions that you should ask from your users to sign them up. However, in each of these parts, there are more menus which are not available in this free version, and I avoid them not to increase the length of the video, and you can see those features in other videos separately. For example, in this part, you can put your users in different groups and give them the limit of access or offer them different features. In message management, you can send group messages to your users or check your sandbox. In panel support submenu, you can insert operators or assistants, define roles or relate some persons to some roles, and you can contact with system sent box. In news management, you can insert news or insert feeds and your bots Get them from news websites automatically and shows in the bot. In files management, you can manage the files you want to show in the bot to your users. So, for this, you can insert a file category and group in your files, and finally, you can upload files which you think you need them into your bot single or in groups. In group and channel management, you can manage your group or channel in the Telegram. For example, you might want to set an obligation for some users to join to your channel, so this should be done by your bot. Or you might want some news be put in your channel automatically in different moments by your bot, and it makes your bot up to date. In the submenu, you can see the results of signing up or requests that your users have from you or also the results of the polls that your users vote. In reports part, you can check your users' performances. It means which days your user checked out your bot and who are your new users. And also, in higher versions, you can get when your users mostly check out your bot in every 24 hours, or which of the bot's menus is more interesting for your users. Okay, now what I want to do here is creating a new bot by using the web panel. We suppose that we haven't created a bot by using your other bot in the Telegram at all and you just have created an account and now you want to create your bot here. Click on this option. In this part, you can insert the token which the bot's father gave you and if you do not have the token, just click on this link and watch the didactic videos related to that. First, I click on the check button. My bot is confirmed. 
In this part, you can set your theme. Now that I'm preparing this educational video, just the sort of theme is ready, and when you are creating your bot, other themes will be available. Well, I choose my theme here. However, if you don't want to choose a specific theme, you can choose a simple theme when you start creating your bot. Finally, click on the Save button and you wait till the configuration of your bot ends. Congratulations! Your bot was easily and successfully created and by clicking on this button, you would enter into the management of your bot's buttons. As you see, buttons have been inserted as submenus and you can insert infinite submenus and the results of them in your Telegram bot. Okay buddies, in the next lesson, I'll introduce you to different types of buttons and I'm gonna tell you that you by using this bots make a panel, which types of buttons you can insert and what features you can offer to your users by using these buttons.